Well, Kristen Smith is back sharing what's trending on social media. Welcome back. This yeah. is always Hi. a great segment. Oh, yeah. This, what's this going is on one. this time? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where, why are you here this well, time? Yeah, Mary this Emery's is right. <laughs> trending. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's a big story right now in national news, and it's actually generating a ton of conversation in social media circles, and that's new moms using crowdfunding sites like GoFundMe, where basically, in a nutshell, you ask for donations mm -hmm. to um, cover their maternity leave to pay for their entire maternity leave because the U.S., in this country, we have no national mandate that says that you get full benefits and you get paid when you have a baby. There's no mm -hmm. national mandate for that. In fact, only 11% of the private sector does have paid maternity leave, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. 11%? Yeah. 11%. How do we compare? Yeah. Yeah. Like around the world to other countries, are we? Well, you know, we we don't compare at all. We're the only industrialized nation that doesn't have a national mandate for maternity leave. In fact, just to throw out, it, it's incredibly shocking to see how we compare to the rest of the world. Just to throw out some, you know, countries, Russia and Italy, both have four and a half months for maternity leave, 100% pay. 100%? 100%. In the UK, it's nine months of maternity leave for 90% pay. Bulgaria, more than a year, 13 months at 90% of your pay. So the U.S. is way different. I just, well, just before we jump in, I interpret that as that those other countries see the value of mother, child, bonding together or, or taking time out to raise your child. Absolutely. Am I, inter am I No, am absolutely. That's the, what I, I take from that message. The majority of moms around our country, I mean, if you don't have paid maternity leave and you don't have the money that to pay for three months of maternity leave, a lot of moms are feeling backed in a corner, backed mm -hmm. against a corner, and feel like they have nowhere to turn but these crowdfunding sites like GoFundMe and Kickstarter, there are other different campaigns yeah. you can do. But. Which I want to point out, back in the day, when, before cars were made, when I was growing up, <laughs> yes, these things didn't said. exist. Yes, <laughs> how, was, how was it? <laughs> so, you know, um, uh, we, we've, you've located somebody who's actually gone through this process, and she's joining us now from Percival, Virginia. This is a woman, young woman, who used GoFundMe for donations to help pay for her maternity leave. Please welcome to our home and family, Jennifer Warren Baker. Hello, Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi, everyone. So why, tell us your story. Why did you turn to crowdfunding? Uh, well, I was in a situation where I was about to have a baby in January, and it was coming rather quickly. There she is. And um, I didn't have the funds to manage through two months off. And I desperately wanted to spend two months home with my baby and bond with her properly. And uh, I had to come up with a, an economic solution to this problem. I had no assets to sell at this point or, or any maternity leave to turn to because I'm self-employed. So I thought of crowdfunding as an option. How important was it for you to have that bonding time with your baby? The bonding time is absolutely critical for every mother in the world to have with her child. Mm -hmm. For instance, we wouldn't separate kittens from their mothers hmm. as early as we separate babies from human mothers. So that really doesn't make sense. And I think that there's a reason we're supposed to be close to our babies. And it, it helps with breastfeeding. It helps to establish that really positive, good, beneficial breastfeeding relationship that the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends. And I think it's necessary. It's vital for the health of both the mother and the baby. How difficult was it for you to ask for money? It was very difficult. It was um, something strange to me. I had never done that before. And I'm sure everyone feels that way um, the first time they have to ask for help. So I had to kind of go out of my comfort zone to do that. Absolutely. What did you, um, how much were you seeking and how successful has that effort been for you as far as reaching your goal? Well, I was hoping to raise 5000 which would have covered about six weeks off for me. Uh, mm -hmm. It would have replaced my income for about that period. Okay. So, so far I have raised $3,307 and I am extremely grateful for all of the wonderful people that stepped forward to help me in this rare um rare moment in my life when I actually needed help. I just want to throw you, do you have to pay taxes on this money? 
actually you don't and GoFundMe addresses that on their um, website very well mm -hmm. it's considered gift money up to a certain yeah. level I believe I yeah. sure okay. yeah, I, just, I just want to throw out there that Jennifer there are a lot of women in this situation um, a GoFundMe mm -hmm. spokesperson for example said in the past five years I was reading a statement from her earlier this morning the past five years nine million dollars has been raised with women in, ser in women and men actually because men I mean it's even worse as far sure. as that goes when it comes to leave um, but yeah in these right. similar situations they've raised nine million dollars on GoFundMe alone Jennifer real quick do mm -hmm. you know most mm -hmm. of the people who've contributed are they are they strangers to you Absolutely. are they family or friends you do most Absolutely. Um, the folks that donated were within my personal network. So some were, were my clients, actually many clients and former clients from the past donated. Uh -huh. I also had many friends step forward and one or two family members donated. So they were all people that I knew except for one stranger. Okay. As, as it's really troubling. You do. Well, hey, let me find out. Is that is that the case? And then I'm going to come to you. Yeah. Yeah. Has there been <laughs> negative feedback? Has there been pushback for you, Jennifer? Not with anyone in my personal network. Uh -huh. uh, none of my friends have said anything negative whatsoever. They've been fully supportive and have not thought it was strange at all. Okay. Uh, I did get a few negative comments on a at the bottom of an article that was published a few days ago. Well, Kristen, okay. you have some articles there. Yeah, I actually things. have a couple of those, Jennifer, because I know, the, and these are from strangers who, you know, heard Jennifer's mm -hmm. story. And mm -hmm. um, so a couple of those, uh, while I can appreciate times can be difficult, why are people having babies if they can't afford all aspects of having one? And then just a second comment. My husband and I planned for our children with zero expectation of anyone else to pay for anything involved with having them. I find it tacky that they even ask. Okay. So, yes. Well, it's troubling on, on, I think, a lot of levels. I mean, obviously, you, you've shared your story, so which opens the door for criticism, right. support, because you've made mm -hmm. it very public. Um, I agree with some of those comments. It's, a kitten can't prepare, but human beings can. And I mm -hmm. find it troubling that you did not anticipate, as from what you're sharing with us, mm -hmm. did not anticipate the pros and cons of having a, a baby while self-employed. So uh, I, I, I think it demonstrates, is there a problem in this country with regard to maternity leave? Maybe. I think we need to speak to uh, people who live in the other countries where they do provide. What's their tax bracket? What's the negative impact on the greater good mm -hmm. of the community? What services do they lose because that money is going towards nine months, six months, five months, three mm -hmm. months of a paid maternity leave? And also, and, and uh, I fear a backlash of some employers not wanting to hire women mm -hmm. uh, if it is mandatory mm -hmm. that there be yeah. a maternity well, I pay. Jennifer uh, did not expect this pregnancy. Mm -hmm. she, this mm -hmm. was a surprise, was it not, Jennifer? That is very correct. And she is a blessing. She is a gift. And we have accepted her that way into our family. Her brothers absolutely adore her. And we would not have it any other way. So, uh, but she's not. But you're yeah. not by yourself. You, you said we. So no. there's a family. You're not a single parent. There is Absolutely a partner not. I involved. Am, yeah, I've been married for 20 years. So I find that troubling. But if mm -hmm. if if you look at it from this perspective, and I'm not choosing a side, mm -hmm. right. how is this in your particular case, Jennifer? Because there mm -hmm. were a lot of family or people in your circle that showed yes. up to support. If mm -hmm. I were in crisis mode and I turned to friends, family, relatives, mm -hmm. one said, "Listen, I could use support," and they offered to pay up. Yeah. Is it much different than what she's doing? Yes, because it's using this public uh, a platform of GoFundMe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the, the whole aspect of, I have a problem, I want people to pay for it. Yeah. The, the whole aspect of GoFundMe is, is troubling, and this is just my opinion, yeah. is troubling because it absolves one of their own responsibility of solving one's problems, problems. by going public saying, I have a problem, please pay for it. Right. And I mean, I, I, as a mom, yeah. I, I mean, I took my husband and I are self-employed. I took five days off after I had my baby. And I nursed my baby for six months. Yeah. And I mean, mm -hmm. it's hard. I mean, sure. it's definitely, you know, a challenge. Well, it's interesting it's trending now, which yeah. I'll leave it to you to, to put a button on all. Well, I think that when it comes to spending time with your child and when that is threatened in any way, you snap into a weird mode, a weird place. I know even myself when I was pregnant with my son Kingston, um, something happened with my maternity leave where I, my benefit at my employer at the time was 12 weeks. My doctor didn't want to sign off of it, sign off on it for reasons X, Y, and Z. And so at 36 weeks, just to get that 12 weeks, 
weeks because my mm -hmm. doctor only wanted to give me six weeks. I found another doctor at 36 weeks. And of course, it's a completely different situation. But I remember that feeling like, mm -hmm. that almost like desperate, panicked feeling of, mm -hmm. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what anybody has to say. I'm getting that 12 weeks with my kid. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so mm -hmm. I understand mm -hmm. that desperation. And so how do we verify mm -hmm. that the woman actually is having a child or it is their child? It could easily be scammed. You have a picture yeah. of an infant yeah. and you say, this is and my infant, before. I need this help. Is one of those I'm not saying, I'm not saying that that's Jennifer's her. Jennifer's right. Right. We, you have a yeah. beautiful little baby yeah. girl. Congratulations on Thank She's you so such much. a blessing to you. Thank you very Thank much you. for sharing your story with us, Jennifer. More information on Kristen Smith, you can go to kristensmith.com or more crowdfunding issues, you can visit crowdme. Go to crowd. Sorry, fundme.com. GoFundMe.com. GoFundMe.com, sorry. Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank you.